Good morning, crafters. How are we? I don't know about you, but I can't think of a better day to stay inside, watch, do a bit of crafting, do a bit of shopping, and have a go at some giveaways. Because, you know, I, I mean, I'd say the weather's tropical, but I mean that in a sort of monsoon sense. Anyway, carrying on, carrying on. Thank you for joining me this morning. Joining us this morning. See, the problem is when I'm studying by myself and I say thank you for joining us this morning, it sounds like, you know, I'm doing a bit of a Henry VIII job, which I'm not. And so this morning we are launching our Winter Stamps 2022. Okay, so I'm going to fire up the phone so I can see the comments as you do join in. If you could hit like, comment in if you have it and you're willing to a share that would be absolutely amazing because that's all helpful and we know that facebook doesn't always give the notifications don't we to the people that might want to watch so if you could help us out with that that would be great right so sammy's here fantastic um i think what i'm going to do first um, is we'll obviously have a little talk about these and then I'll go through the offers that are on today. There is links in the previous post here on Facebook. Um, so we'll go through them first and then we can talk about the, the stamps, actually. I've decided I'm going to do that first. All right, so the special offers that are on today. And like I say, all of these links are on the previous post on Facebook if Sam can't do them all, especially as quick as I'm reading them. So the Winter Journaling Girls are 20%, 25% off. The Winter Small Words are 25% off. You can find them all on the same page. Inkable's Mandalas uh, templates, 15% off. Inkable Snowflakes templates, 15% off, because it goes. Inkable's Easy Frames, because I think they're fab for Christmas cards, 15% off. Christmas MDF, 10% off. So if you missed out on it last month, um, it's not quite as good an offer, but it is still a discount, 10% off. And the Dude Like Mandalas, because in fairness, Sam and I think they make excellent baubles, are 25% off. So like I say, all of those links. And... Last but by no means least, every order over £25 today, over £20 today, sorry, will receive a free stamp. Every order over £40 will receive three free stamps. These are stamps we choose. You cannot return them for money or exchange them for anything else. They are just a gift for which you will say thank you. That's very nice. Alrighty. So that's, that's I think that's what we call the housekeeping. That's the housekeeping done. Okay. So now we have, now let's talk about the new stamps, okay? So these um, were chosen by us because basically we just think they make excellent, excellent um, winter cards. Um, even if you don't do Christmas cards, the birds, you know, will make some absolutely beautiful art journaling as well. So, you know, that's always good. Um and, and we just think they're really, really nice. They've got lots of potential, so this is why these were chosen. Okay, so first of all, we've got our beautiful wreath here. Lots and lots of detail in there. You've got the... Is it aniseed stars? I don't know. Cinnamon sticks. You've got your orange segments. You've got some bells, some ribbon. Obviously, your greenery, a bit of mistletoe in there. Absolutely stunning. And then... We've got a pine cone because, I'll, you know, in case you want to add extra bits on. Or I think these are really good for doing, like, little backgrounds and things like that. You've got a pine cone, an orange segment, or a citrus segment. Let's not, let's be equal opportunity citrus. A citrus segment. And your Merry Christmas there. Okay? So I think that one is, you know, it's, it's, it's fairly solid as a Christmassy set. I, you know, I agree. The, the Robins, however... I think these have have a lot of scope. Um, and in fairness, after playing with them, what I said to Sam was, I said, we need more birds. I said, I've really enjoyed playing with these. Okay. But these two stamps here, uh, stamp sets here, these are on a limited run. Okay. But I'm not going to restock these. When they've gone through, they've gone through. I will be looking at some more birds into the new year. But as far as these two got, once they're gone, that's that. Okay. Because um, we're just... That's that's the way it's got to be nowadays, you know. Um, but they're absolutely stunning. I've had so much fun playing with them. And on here, we've got the Believe, because that's a brilliant stamp, and I love the font of it. Okay. <clears throat> and then 
we have the three robins which obviously you could color maybe add a bit of your own drawing to as well to change them up if you wanted to okay we've got this fella facing this way this one on the return who's on more of a straight level keel and then this one that's singing okay so they'd be really nice if you wanted to you know draw in some music notes or something like that we've also got some foliage and holly and some berries here so again brilliant if you want to mix them up the creative team have made some beautiful samples where they've added this holly on to the end of this branch to really extend that out so you know definitely have a look at the creative team samples because as per usual they've knocked it out of the park and it always feels weird doing a baseball analogy because you know we don't play baseball here really we play rounders i suppose cricket it's a six um but you know that makes it sound like it's not as good as ten. <laughs> All right, so one thing we have learned, haven't we, on our launch days, Harry asked why his mouth was open. I said he stood on a Lego. Yeah, that is a silent scream thing, that is, isn't it? Standing on a Lego. Um, so as we've learned on these launch days, something that seems to be the most popular way of doing these is stamping all the stamps out in black first. It's something we don't or didn't get time to do when we were on TV because, you know, they want you to complete samples. But I think it is something that does really, really help. Um, so I'm quite happy to do that. So shall we start with the wreath? Um, because I think the thing... I still think there is this thought, belief, whatever, um, that with clear polymer you don't get the detail maybe that you're hoping for um you know something like this it's got a lot of detail in it um but you absolutely do and it's one of the reasons i do like to stamp everything out don't get me wrong if you if you are stamping out something fine detail i do think versifying is the way to go so we're just going to tap all around our wreath I am stamping in the Royal Talons media paper book. Okay. Something I'm going to do, though, I'm just going to run fingers round, flex on my super skinny slim just a little, just to make sure all those little bits take, you know, take that extra little bit of time. We're not in any rush, we're not going anywhere. Then we lift up. And you have all of those beautiful details in your wreath. Absolutely stunning. Okay. So I'm going to lift that off. And then we'll go on to some of the smaller ones. Here. Sorry. I should really get a smaller super skinny for this, shouldn't I? problem is i've been using them all this palettes and loads of them have <laughs> got ink on you know so we'll go with a merry christmas this is a lovely font really easy to stamp it'll emboss absolutely beautifully because it's swirly but not too swirly um and there's not too many ultra fine lines so it's actually really easy to get a nice clean image so if you are still thinking of starting stamping all this sort of thing this merry christmas it's almost like a guaranteed good stamp every time which i absolutely adore okay and then ah that's where i'm going wrong i'm sticking them to the wrong side of my acetate so i'm confusing myself i don't think i need any assistance in that arena really okay so i think we'll then go to my border block so this is the pine cone which i have found the best color for coloring in pine cone is actually my forest moss um distress forest moss distress and then adding in some brown after it makes it a really sort of believable whereas if you, i think if you go in too brown but the forest moss with the, the, which is sort of like a a, a browny green it really is it's a really good start color for your pine cones i have to say and then 
we'll go in with our citrus segment. I'll put that over here. All right. I really need to have sort out any bottles. Look, I've smudged everywhere already. So let me just lift that up for you. So you can see how beautiful all of those fine lines come out. Absolutely stunning. You know, and we talk about potential. Absolutely got it in droves. So beautiful. All right. So let's move on to the robins. We'll stamp all those individually first. Just like these. You don't need a big stamping block for these. To be honest, the one I have been using the most is this one, the very original Super Skinny. Um, for me, it just seems to be the best one for this particular set. I've stamped this guy so many times. <laughs> over, the, over the last few days, he has been stamped so many times. Okay. So. And I have to say, the line on this is quite bold. Um, so you actually don't have to be as careful as you think you do. So it's a really quick, easy stamp, that one. Yeah, you see how just straight down, straight up. Absolutely brilliant. Really, really simple. And then we'll go with... little chap this little fella just singing his heart out up here do you see what I mean the, the, the line whilst not particularly it's not a heavy line but it is bold enough for you not have to have to worry too much as long as you've inked up properly this is again this is what i like to call almost like a guaranteed stamp a guaranteed success stamp because you just put it down lift up you're done it's really really simple and easy absolutely lovely yeah and like annie's just said really easy to cut out too if you look at those lines lovely so again if you're making a mask or something like that really really easy we might do a bit of that later on tonight Okay, so now we're going to go in with our holly, because I love a bit of holly, to be honest. So, and again, it's got these sort of shaded sections, so nice and easy if you want. You don't have to worry too much about colouring in, okay? Really easy to colour in. Because even just one colour... Because you've got the shading on the stamped image, you don't need to worry about adding in your own if you, if you don't want to. Or you're batch making for Christmas or for selling at a Christmas fair. So this seems a very good time to cover our angel policy. Okay. the um, All of our stamps, you are free to stamp and create to sell. Okay. You're not allowed to photocopy it. Even if you've stamped it, you can't photocopy it. It has to be stamped each time and you can't obviously scan it in and do anything to it as long as you're stamping each time you're and you can't sell just the black and white images it has to be a completed project but aside from that you can make as many as you want it's not like oh you can only make 10 of the same design and whatever no 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 as long as you're stamping each time i mean if you make more than 10 design i tell you I'd... you're better than me I, 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 I can't i can't do that i'll just i'll get I get, I find it creatively redundant is the word, the phrase I, I tend to, I get bored. So I have to change things up. And then the beautiful believe again. So you see how, you know, it's a, it's a really easy set to, to stamp as daft as it sounds. I know that probably sounds a bit silly. Okay. 
These birds would love to stitch them pop in a hoop. Absolutely. Well, these little ones would fit very nicely, wouldn't they? I don't think I have any blank ones left. Um, I've only got my coloured in ones. I need to get some more. Your MDF baubles, which you've got a, a discount on today as well. Okay. You could either do this fella, so he overhangs, kind of like the dragonfly. You know, in, in, although he's too big for the frame, he would sit outside. If you wanted something that sat inside, you could use the smaller fella. Yeah? So these would look great in your MDF baubles. All right. And, or, you know, if you're doing glass baubles or acrylic baubles, what you can do with these, and I have used the holly and the pine cone. Okay. You can actually use them on acrylic with using your Bee Crafty stamping tissue. Okay. Again, this is something I will, I will do in more detail. So what I did yesterday, my mum... Because um, obviously mum and dad do all the laser cutting and ever they sell um, directly, they sell uh, acrylic blanks, some acrylic blanks. So I made a bookmark using the Be Crafty stamping tissue, okay? I stamped on in archival, as you can see it on the back, I stamped on in archival and then... Just stuck it on with collage medium. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Festive bookmark. And a bit of baking twine. Because, you know, fabulous. Super, super easy. So, this is the thing. I think this time of year, we're always looking... Oh, I've always said, the thing I love about stamping so much is the versatility. And that's true. Because when you're stamping... You can stamp cards, you can stamp, you stamp your art journal pages. But this time of year as well, you can start stamping on your stamping tissue, which you can then apply to baubles, bookmarks, and do you know what I mean? Gift, giftware, decorations, all this sort of thing. And it just expands that out even more. All right. So but with that in mind, we're now going to colour in a little. Okay. So we're going to colour in our wreath. And like I said, one of my fave, what is something I discovered? Shall we zoom in a little? Um, because we're going to go for the wreath. I'm going to have to turn it a little so you can see. Um, the thing I learned yesterday was my forest moss really was the best colour for colouring on pine cones. So what I did was, is I put some forest moss onto... Um, no, I can't find it. Typical. Onto my, one of my Super Skinny Slims. Okay. So basically, I'll just put it onto one of my Super Skinny Slims. Or you can do it, of course, to your blending mat. All right. And then just with a wet paintbrush, activate that. And I'll just go in. Over my pine cones. And I think the thing is, when you stamp in the Versifying Claire Black as well, you can think, oh, that looks really intense. Maybe it's a bit too much black, whatever. But bear with me, because we're gonna mix, we're gonna mix our colouring mediums. We're gonna use a few different ones. Um, and you're gonna see how once it's coloured in, it just doesn't, you know, it, you worry it looks too much, but I promise it's not. Yeah, absolutely, Pauline. So these would, you know, make fantastic coasters. I mean, what a great idea. Or you could stamp them on fabric and make little fabric coasters as well, um, if you're that way inclined. I absolutely love soft crafts. I am um, just, mm, no, they don't work out for me. I can't lie. Okay. So you see, with the forest moss as your pine cones, it seems like a seems like a strange choice, maybe, to go in with a green onto your pine cones. But because it's that browny green... Okay, it's just a really, really good base, which we can then add to in a minute. All right, and then I'm going to grab my eco lines. Sammy, don't look, honestly, sweetheart, you'll just give yourself a palpitation. So I've got all my eco lines in this tub. So I'm going to grab a couple of greens. All right, and this bit 
goes exceedingly quickly. Obviously, you could take more time, dependent on your desired precision level. This is where I benefit because I don't have a desired precision level. It is literally leaving those berries white with their mistletoe. But you could do them red if you wanted, if that's your preferred. But you know, you don't have to worry about being too precise. It's not, it's not about that. But you see how putting the colour on, it, it really knocks back that black. You know, you, you think it looked too much to start with. But this is why, why I say to you when you're art journaling, don't start panicking until you're getting close to where you think you should be finished because if it's not finished there's no need to panic yet oh i missed the pine cone at the top do you know i was looking for another one i, was, I knew there was another one there. i couldn't see it i'm just going to add in a bit around and you know what? i'm just going to go over this bl this black sprig okay and then i'm going to go in around this star and east that's what that's the word i was looking for earlier just going to go in around that star and east all right. Okay, so let me just quickly do this pine cone up here that I missed. All righty. And then I'm going to go in with a slightly darker green. And I'm just going to sort of add in a bit of depth to the centre. Um, the one. I don't remember which one I was using now. Yeah, that's the one I was using. So we're going to go with a slightly darker green. It's not even a darker green, it's just a different tone of green. Okay, which I'm then going to just go around the things that are going to be on top because that'll instantly lift them forward as well. And into the centre, you know, the things that are going to be a little bit behind. Just add another straight down the middle of these sprigs and it just again it gives another layer quite quickly quite <laughs> quite easily so sam's put your link for the eco lines on there all right now the bells the bells are really fun to do so i'm going to get those two and i need my brown I need that dark brown having one of those where did I put the eco lines I was using yesterday moments okay brown orange and yellow which I think work together to give you a beautiful golden bell look all right so with your bells we're gonna do this isn't the brown I was after I had a darker brown go with this one Oh, this one's too much. Never mind. So, dark brown around the outside. See how precise I'm being or not. Okay, and then a bit of a dark brown in there. And then we're going do an orange loop. This is the Eco Line Light Orange. And then we're doing yellow. Okay? This is how I'm going to get sort of like a golden feel. I'm just going to get our paintbrush. And they're kind of golden now but not metallic, which is quite cool. But obviously you could, you could heat emboss them, you could go on with a pen. I did go on some yesterday with a um, gold Sharpie, but in all honesty, and you can get the gold Sharpies on the website, but in all honesty, I didn't notice the, how, I didn't realise how opaque they were and how solid the gold was. And it covered all the details of the stamp, which I wanted to keep. So 
I didn't. Dawn, I am stamping today in the... Let me get the... The Talons Art Creation Mixed Media Paper Pad. Okay. Really good for lots of different techniques. It's not a super smooth surface. Um, so, you know, it is good for lots of different mediums, which we like. Okay. Then we're going to go to our orange. Okay. So my segments are going to be orange. I said yours didn't have to be, which, of course, they don't. And we're going to do some orange in the middle. I'm going to do an orange right around the edge. I'm going to do the same over here. And then we're going to use some yellow around here. As you can see, I don't... Over precision is not something I suffer from. And again, we're going to go in with our wet paintbrush. Then we're just going to watercolour. Add water over the whole thing. There we go. Shaded. Fabulous. Right, so now I'm going to get these other two colours of brown. You know I was just using the lighter one. So this is the sepia and this is the sepia deep. Okay, and we're going to go in and we're going to do our cinnamon sticks. I sometimes add a little bit of orange to these as well if I feel like it. But again, I'm not... I'm not over fussing myself with the precision. You know, if you've just got one set of eco lines or you've only got one brown in your eco lines or you're colouring using your pencils or your distress like you see I, I mix my mediums quite a lot in these cinnamon sticks there are shaded bits on the stamp so just do an extra couple of runs down that bit with your pen and that bit will be darker and then you're shaded okay but you can go in with a dark pen if you want to okay I'm now also going to go in on my pine cones and add some brown tones. So I'm going to add a little bit of sepia across these, maybe in some of the darker areas. And if, and like I say, look, I'm not, I'm just gently dabbing almost. On this one that's sort of face up, you can see you've got these darker shaded marks. So I'll just put a bit in there and then just put a little bit around the outside. So it's built. Okay, I am going to use my sepia deep. Is that the A4 or the A3 pad? This is the A3. Um, they're both really, really good. And it gives me, I have done journal pages in it before. I'll show you in a sec. So I'm going to use the sepia deep for the star anise. Again, sometimes I add a little bit of an orange tone to these as well. I think it just depends how you're feeling. I would like to do one because I think that's no surprise. I'd like to do a wreath and I'm going to do them in sort of like weird, funky, bright colours. I, I might do that today whilst I'm watching the lives, etc. When this first goes on, it looks really, really super dark, but I'll lift it up in a second. And you can see, you can still see all the stamp details. Okay. And now I think we need to go in with our red for the ribbon on the top. Okay. So again, we're going to, I'm going to go in with the red. This is the Scarlet. Um, I'm going to go in here as well. I'm just going to bring that to our ribbon. I think it's so pretty. I'm so glad this is the one we chose. Um, and then we're going to, what I'm going to do quickly, because I'm impatient, is I'm just going to give that a heat set. And then I'm just going to add another layer close to the edges and then and the good thing is right 
if you notice any bits of your wreath, I just notice there's a cinnamon stick. If you notice any bits of your wreath, well, that bit looks like there's a bit of gap of white in it. That's all right. Just go around with your original green, if you want to, of course. And just fill it in. For example, this bit, there isn't actually any lines in it, but if you wanted to fill that in to make it more dense, that'd be absolutely cool. Okay, so I'm just going to go around to make sure it's all green where I want it to be. I might add in a little bit more. Orange to the centre. some of my segments it's just a bit more intense okay and then just move these distress out of the way so I can lift this up so you can see you know whilst that might have looked wow that's quite intense black at the beginning okay once you've added in the color you can barely see the black anymore do you know what i mean absolutely stunning okay so how would i turn that into a card well get ready lads and lasses boys and girls okay because I'm about to do a blue Peter. Here's what I prepared earlier. Okay, so I've got a six by six card with a deckly edge because I've got loads of them. I'm sure we've had this discussion before. I shall not repeat myself. All right, and I've got a white layer. It's a white layer that's got a smudge on it, but that's all right because I'm about to put a wreath over the top. All right, so. This, I think, is a really sort of clean looking um, card that isn't, you know, it's not overdone, so it's nice for anyone, really. And again, easier to batch make because what you can do is you can sit stamp and color all your wreaths cut them out and then get your cards ready if you want okay so there we go so we've got a layered up just a white layer and we're ignoring both finger smudge because it doesn't matter okay I've then got a wreath that I've coloured, just like that one. Are you impressed with the prep? I mean, can we just, you know, get impressed with the prepage? Thank you. Right, so I, so you can see what I've done is I've put a gem on. This is pretty much the only time of year I use gems. I'll use sequins sometimes the rest of the year. But it just doesn't, it's not, I have any issue with them. It just generally doesn't occur to me. Right. And then I'm going to add on some 3D foam here. Because it's simple layers, I want them to be proper layers. If that, if you get what I mean. You know, proper, proper layers. So. Again, I'm going to use... The pokey pokey tooly tooly. Um, to lift these up. Sorry, my phone's just had a wobble and now I can't see any of your comments. Do, do, do. Right, we'll wait for it to think about its life choices while I put this on. Okay, nice and in the middle. And then what I've done 
is I have cut the Believe from here out, okay, and to use separately. All right, and then what I'm going to do is again use a 3D foam. Stick that on. Now, I will say when I was playing with the layout of this card last night, I was giving it a lot of overthought. Okay, because I think the believe would look very pretty in the middle. But then I thought, to be fair, it would look really nice like to the side as well. I think I think there's a bit of a bit of scope there or on where you could put it in. It's, it's one of those things, I think, because it is such a simple layout, I feel like it has to be perfect. And I'm not sure whether it's perfect in the middle to the side. I think I like it to the side. I don't know. Right, you tell me, what do you think? In the middle or to the side? Because it really can go either way. I think to the side. I think to the side. If to the side, get into the E. Oh, mother of... Right. See, mother turns up and then we all have to... <sighs> Dear. Right, so cut into the E. There we go. Okay. So you can see how quickly that, you know, that all coloured in. Okay. So again, if you're batch making, I can't lie, that does look good with the E cutting. Um, if you're batch making, colour them all in. Then you can cut them out. And then you've got this beautiful wreath ready to go. And I think you know whilst you can dress it up and dress it down you know you could use your easy frames or whatever i think because there is quite a lot of detail in there it's really sort of easy just to just to layer up on your white absolutely beautiful okay so i hope that show shows you some good things with the wreath like i say sam has been putting the links on for you remember all orders over 20 pounds today gets you a free stamp all orders over 40 gets you three free stamps and those are the great offers as well right so let's have a quick color in of some of the robins now in all i'm not going to lie to you there isn't a um completed project planned for the robins because in all honesty i got that into just playing with them constantly i know i've got the so you know here we are so the <sighs> obvious way for me, I shouldn't say obvious while I'm speaking for everybody. The obvious way for me to colour in these robins was with my eco lines. Right, is that in? I don't know if that's in. Yeah. Okay. Was to go in with my eco lines. So again, going with the sepia deep. I'm going to start at the top of his head. Run all the way down. Back up across and back up might do a little bit more actually and then with the just the regular sepia i'm going to add in a little bit around here again not worried about too much where it goes and then i'm gonna Going under his chin and round sort of see he's got the fluffy bit of where he'd be red marked out if you want to do it like that okay and then I'm gonna get a slightly bigger brush and we're gonna add we're just gonna Mm. 
make a smaller one. And again, all your shading is done for you. It's just a watercolour dropping. Easy peasy. No worry, you can go in and add a few more lines if you want to. You can lift some of the ink off. Because with your eco lines, they will reactivate every time you put water on. Okay? So. If that has, for example, you think, right, yeah, I'm happy where that ink is now. But I want to add a bit more of an intense red. Okay, what we'll do is we'll dry that. Well, this is what I would do. I would dry it with my heat tool. Okay. Then. Go in with my red again. Around a few of these fine lines. And then with a wet but drier brush, right, again, just work over these lines because it's going to reactivate the ink underneath to blend with this ink here. And then with an almost dry brush, I will just work around that edge, soften that back out again. Okay, easy peasy. And then you can decide how you want to, you know, colour your branches if you want to add this on underneath. However, with your birds, we talked about different ways of playing with them, right? And I'm going to zoom back out again. I, I, I coloured in yesterday. I was trying to find different ways to colour because the first one I coloured in, I did a really, I'm going to have to zoom out on it. Um, I did a really red head, a really red head, which I actually really, really liked, but I knew it wasn't right, if that makes sense. Um, so then I took it back and then I took back like really little colour onto this one. And then this one I'm trying to put together in, you know, just in, in more of a dotty way, um, but that's still a work in progress. Anyway, from there. I decided to have, I was having a play with some different techniques using the bird. So yeah, just briefly, okay, so yeah, this is the mixed media paper A3, okay, and I've actually done journal pages this big in it, just because it's fun. And then I did a uh, rainbow dragonfly one with the dragonfly sets very very nice but that is a slight digression okay because the page i want to show you is this one where i was playing with different ways of coloring the bird in um giving it a really watercolor look um again giving it sort of like an ink spatty look so these are i still think even the blue and purple one still looks like a robin i can't lie um but just a different sort of technique with each one okay this is why i'm saying with the think there is a lot of scope there's a lot of things you can do um to use them for different sort of cards art journal pages and things like that okay so for example for this one what I did was 
was I stamped? This was actually a mix, okay? So I got my picked raspberry on here, and then my wilted violet, and then I couldn't, <laughs> I was impatient, couldn't see any of my blue ink pads, so I grabbed a blue eco line. went over okay spritzed with water and stamped okay so I had that and then I spritzed quite a lot more and then the ink's all mixed and melded and all this sort of thing and then I stamped over it in the black but you can see oh I've just left it face down on something even just like that it's a really fun watercolour effect okay that you could do really really pretty all right so let me just heat dry this See, you get these lovely lines that I really, really like. I actually really like those. I think they're absolutely really pretty. So you can see why I want more birds, because like I said, these 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 Christmas stamps are a limited run. Um, so I definitely need more birds for next year. And I can't lie, that means something else has got to go. I've got to adjust a plan, because <laughs> me and Sam have actually made a plan. Right, I'm just going to dry that off with my painty towel. All right, and then... I'm going to ink it up in the black. You could ink it up in any colour. And I think in one of these would also look really pretty. Okay. But I'm just going to ink that up in the black. I'm going to line it up sort of over where it was. Because then it works with the ink, I think. Again, personal preference. And then... You've just got this beautiful birdie. But again, you could add in some more detail with that if you wanted to after. You know, you could use... You could use the colours that we've put together in this one. I'm actually looking for my smaller brush. It's all right. That'll do. Just to create a bit more... Okay, and then that sort of lifts, lifts the knot. Okay. Alrighty. So, what have I done with my wreath card? Literally the card I have just made. Goodness gracious. Okay. 
So I think I have really sort of started you off and showing you how these cards are going to make these stamps are going to make beautiful Christmas projects. Um, like I say, with your use them on different mixed media and on your stamping tissue as well. Absolutely stunning. If you are looking for links for all of the offers that are on today, please see the post before this one on the Beef Crafty Facebook page. Um, Sam has put a lot of links for you as well. Um, so, coming up at 11, we have our very first giveaway. It is, It will be there ready to go directly, instantly at 11 o'clock. And we have those every other hour pretty much through the day. So make sure you check the schedule um, to see what's coming up. And then, of course, of course, we have other fantastic lives through the day. So make sure you've got your cup of tea sorted for between those, okay? Because in case you haven't seen the schedule, it's a very, very good one. So at 11 o'clock, we have that first one hour giveaway. At 12, we have a live with Sally right here on the Be Crafty page. At 1 p.m., we have another one hour giveaway. And then at 2 o'clock, Anne is going to be live, but in the Be Crafty Stamps group. So make sure you're a member of the, that group before two o'clock. Otherwise, you might miss the start. Three o'clock, another win, one hour giveaway. Facebook Live with Sam at four. And then I will be back here at eight o'clock for the Try It Out Tuesday hour that we always have. Um, and hopefully, or maybe, there'll still be some of these left and this is what we'll keep working on. Um, if not, don't worry, I'll find something else. But yeah, so there are lots of lives today. So you've got me now, then you've got Sally, then you've got Anne in the group, then you've got Sam, and then you've got me again. So there's lots to do, lots to keep you entertained on this absolutely awful weather day um so do stay tuned make sure you like share and comment on those giveaways as well you know freebies are great aren't they so have a fantastic day i hope you really love the new stamps and as obviously it is a bee crafty launch day we're all attached to um all of our devices all day so if you need any help with anything else at all you do get in touch all right then guys thank you for joining me Bye bye